my nose always feels stuffy do i have a deviated nasal septum is it a normal thing what are the symptoms produced by dns do i need a surgery for these so if these are your questions let's answer them today there is a central bone in the nose which we call nasal septum there are two bones on the sides called middle and inferior turpinate and there are something called sinuses which are hollow bones around the nose a little bit of bone deviation is normal in most people however it can create certain problems and when it causes symptoms or problems it is called dns or deviated nasal septum what are the problems caused by dns so they are essentially six problems maximum which deviated nasal septum can cause first is obstruction due to obstruction a person may feel as if the nose is stuffy i need to put some drops i can't breathe freely i need to take some steam a normal person is never conscious of his or her breathing but here we become conscious we become continuously aware of our nose and our breathing because of obstruction when we tend to sleep on the right side the right side nose gets stuffy when we sleep on the left side the left side can get stuffy third due to obstruction only we snore so there is snoring mouth breathing repeated dryness of the throat then due to obstruction whenever there is some viral infection any upper respiratory tract infection normal people will get better in 5 to 7 days but in people with dns the problem can become worse in duration intensity or even frequency so this is the first problem the obstruction the second problem due to dns is post nasal drip so in the sinuses there are goblet cells or mucus producing cells due to dns there is over activity of these glands and excessive mucus starts forming this excess mucus more than what the nose needs starts falling back into the throat this is called post nasal drip so it produces certain symptoms when the mucus is collected at the back of the nose then we tend to sniff inside like <coughs> like this it will feel as if something is sticking at the back of the nose then if it falls further down into the throat then we may need to clear the throat like <coughs> and sometimes if the mucus is too much then we may even have to spit it like <coughs> spit out then sometimes the mucus starts falling into the vent pipe or the voice box then before sleeping we may have to clear the throat like <clears throat> or even cough <coughs> so this all these symptoms are post nasal drip the third problem which can happen due to dns is heaviness of the head so we do not categorize it as a pain but it is labeled more of a heaviness it sometimes dns can cause proper pain also which is something we call contact headache fourth problem can be heaviness of the ears or popping sensation in the ear or even blockage this happens because of eustachian tube dysfunction so there is a tube which opens in the ear and the same tube it opens at the back of the nose so dns can cause blockage of the eustachian tube and therefore blockage of the ear as well fifth is sometimes it can cause bleeding more commonly it can cause some traces or uh, bloods in the mucus which we spit out so like this we sniff inside and then spit it out you may see a few traces of blood in the mucus that can happen because of dns sixth problem which can happen is sense of smell may be reduced so most of the people they have usually have the first two problems obstruction and pnd but any person can have it in any combination now how do i confirm whether i have dns so to confirm the diagnosis your doctor will examine you and he may do something called a diagnostic nasal endoscopy also we can get a ct scan of paranasal sinuses these two tests they are sufficient to diagnose and plan for the treatment if i have bone deviation why i am having these symptoms for the past few months or few years only why not earlier so the answer is that this dns is an fixed obstruction in the upper airway the effort to breathe is generated by the lungs not by the nose so when we are young the lung capacity is very good and it can easily overcome this resistance but as we age the lung capacity reduces the elasticity reduces and the same obstruction which was there earlier also but now with age it starts becoming more evident so these symptoms they usually begin after 30 to 35 years of age and they usually get worse with age do i need surgery for this in short answer is not always minor deviations they are considered normal and the decision to operate it depends on the symptoms of a person so if the problem is not significant we don't operate 
but if there is a significant impairment of quality of life and the medication requirement is frequent then it is better to operate this now what is septoplasty and how is it done so septoplasty is a surgical procedure which is done to correct the deviated nasal septum or dns so these days it is done endoscopically there is no external incision or scar or stitches this is it is done under general anesthesia preoperatively we get anesthesia checkup and routine blood investigations procedure takes around 45 minutes to 1 hour after the procedure soft merosil packs are kept in the nose for around 24 hours and next day the patient is discharged from the hospital after observation so what is the post operative advice and how long will i take to recover from the procedure so essentially the only advice after septoplasty is to avoid any physical exertion any gym workout for at least 2 weeks minor amount of bleeding or clots they are normal for around 1 week normal diet starts from the next day only sitting work office job you can do from the next day only your doctor will give routine nasal drops and routine medication for around a week after the procedure sometimes we do a nasal endoscopy also around 1 to 2 weeks after the procedure to clear any debris crusts or clots from the nose can the bone regrow after surgery the answer is no the bone doesn't regrow after surgery however the nose is a dynamic organ it is not like our hand so the nose is meant to respond to external factors like environment pollution allergies infections acidity even hormones so even after surgery you may have ex- occasional nasal symptoms because of these dynamic factors but the sim- duration intensity and frequency should definitely reduce after the procedure and the quality of life usually improves a lot so the more deviated the septum is the greater will be the benefits which will be uh, felt after the procedure by the patient if you have any other queries please feel free to drop a message or contact us on this number or drop a comment in the comment section thank you